Hello everyone, I'm just doing a quick little intro on this video just to explain a couple of things. The first like five minutes of this video, my camera was on a really bad setting. I mean, I talk about it through the video. I took some pictures on it and I think one of the girls taking pictures, she helped me fiddle around the settings to get me a better shot. But me being as terrible as I am with my cameras, which I feel like is something I should really work on this year. I didn't know how to turn it back and I also didn't really realize till like after I'd filmed the intro. You see me literally realize like, what's going on there are these two black borders either side and the quality is really quite shocking but i hope you can just put up with it for five minutes because the content in it is like something i really wanted to post usually i just crop this sort of stuff out but it was like a big part of my week and i'm sure you guys would want to see it as well if you can put up with me and put up with it but don't worry it very soon resumes back literally all i had to do was get on a youtube video i'm just so fucking stubborn i always think i can do things myself and i definitely can't giving you some context but i really hope you guys do enjoy this video Video. If you want to be really nice, you can give me a thumbs up for all the dismay I've had editing this back and seeing that the first day of footage literally looks like it's been filmed on a microwave. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you do want to see more of me. There's a really lovely balance in this vlog of like me taking you out and about, showing you into my meetings, kind of my work life, and then also just me cooking at home with the dog, chatting rubbish. Hope you guys enjoy! <laughs> day today. I don't want Miss Chow to intro this video because she's going to be so insistent that she sits on my lap. Good morning everyone. Today is actually going to be an amazing day. I have my birthday just this Monday gone. It's now Wednesday and I think it's one of the first times like I haven't vlogged my birthday on YouTube but I did put it all on my Snapchat which I'll put my Snapchat on screen here by the way if you want to go follow me. I'm using it as like a private story kind of just in a monologue like after a Love Island episode giving my opinions on everyone. The stuff I feel like I would be in trouble for posting on my main social media account. But anyway, birthday been and gone. I literally had the nicest day. It was so, so, so chilled. You honestly didn't miss anything. And I don't think I'm gonna be having any big crazy birthday party this year. I'm not completely ruling it out, but I'm thinking if I do, it'll probably be like either right at the end of this month or in March, just so I have time. I don't feel stressed. And there's just honestly a million and one things I'd rather be spending my money on right now than a ginormous birthday party. This girl's grown up. However, my birthday celebrations apparently aren't finished because I'm going on a lovely big Walk around Hampstead Heath today with my best friend Josh. You guys know Josh, I'm sure, from my videos. Your Uncle Josh! Uncle Josh! Josh was actually the first person who ever came with me to see Ida. So he really is top uncle. After our walk, we're going to my favorite brunch spot, which I finally think I'm ready to share with you. I'm ready to stop gatekeeping it. It's walking distance from my house and it's just the best brunch in London, trust me. I can't remember where I was up to, but I've just noticed like this camera's recording weird. It's like a black border going in, but luckily Josh is a photographer. So I'm hoping maybe he will be able to tell me what that is. I've then got the most exciting dinner with one of my my favorite brands in the world. This is honestly like a huge pinch me moment tonight. So I'll be getting ready for that and stay tuned, see who it is. I feel like you guys hear me talk about them all the time. I'll be going to that with Lewis as well. So that'll be really nice to see him, catch up with him. He actually sent me this gorgeous bunch of flowers for my birthday. And look how funny as well. The clothes for my bathroom. And then tomorrow I've got a really exciting meeting with a brand, which I'm not entirely sure if I can tell you who, but I'll be able to ask my managers tomorrow. <laughs> so exciting everything's looking really good i feel like i always just film me inside of the house which don't worry if you like that there'll be a lot of that as well this vlog but it's fun as well to take you out and about with me on my more worky bits that's some embarrassment don't worry it's gonna be audio this is the dream guys this many dogs one of them's called Bellu. i just thought i'd pop in for a couple minutes in this video looking a little bit crazy i done my french like really over exaggerated because i've actually got like 20 minutes before i need to be in an event and it always drops out but i just wanted to say a huge 
thank you Ida. I wanted to say a huge thank you to the people at Better Help for working with me. In pay partnership, I just want to interject and put that in here. This is a pay partnership. Just to be clear, on this next minute or two of the video, Better Help is a online therapy brand which can be done remotely from anywhere, over text, video call, whatever fits into your life and whenever it fits your schedule. The way Better Help works is that you'll go online and fill out sort of a short survey about your struggles, your worries. This is just so that they can get to know you a little bit better and assign you the right therapist. And I always say it, you don't need to be diagnosed or struggling with any mental health conditions. To go to therapy, you can be completely fine, but just sort of want a place to outlet or even self-improve and just get a better understanding of yourself. You guys know I've had therapy in the past and I credit so much of me being where I am now to therapy. I've actually taken so many lessons, so many teachings from my old therapist, like into my 20s with me. It's so important that you're with the right therapist as well, which is why BetterHelp can offer you a change of therapist at any single time, completely free of charge. I'll have my link on screen here as well as down below in the description box if it's something you are interested in. It goes without saying, I honestly truly believe that we deserve to be the happiest, best versions of ourselves and therapy is an excellent way to get there. Thank you so much again to BetterHelp for working with me on this part of the video. Anyway, let's resume back. We're still trying to figure out how to get these like black borders off. It's honestly very confusing. But this is my favorite breakfast spot, as I told you guys. It's called Sunday. And it's literally just like in the middle, kind of loads of surrounding houses. It's also a really beautiful area to walk around. I think I'm gonna go for the courgette fritters, although I am really torn between hello. I am really torn between these and then the mushrooms and spinach on toast. I haven't tried these ones before. What do you think you're gonna get, just schwa? I think I'm going to get... I'm not too sure. <laughs> I actually might get like two eggs oh, nice. and some things, nice but I'm not too sure like what kind of eggs they are. Like I want scrambled eggs. Well, you get scrambled eggs and you can add might. some bits on. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, could yeah, do yeah. that. Or do I go for something more sweet? I'm not too sure yet. You can get half portions of the um, pancakes or French toast no. for less. But like, what can I get with the pancakes? I kind of want Nutella, but I don't okay. want to do Nutella. No, I don't want savoury pancakes. Well, what's, so, what I, comes with the pancakes already? Yeah, what does it say? Buttermilk, berry compote, bacon or banana, honeycomb butter, maple syrup. Okay, maple syrup could be a vibe. But I think I might do, it might be boring. And Or I could go for eggs, banana, eggs. Oh, so many decisions. So many decisions. Gorgeous. Every single time I come here, I get the courgette fritters. They are so good. I actually bought the cookbook for this place for Christmas, but everything takes so long to make. Thank you. Amazing, thank you. Thank you very much. I also got some cornbread. I don't actually think I've tried cornbread before. Is it before. like an American thing? And look at those eggs. If there's one thing they're going to do good, it's eggs. Devoured. That was so delicious. Oh my god. I literally haven't vlogged a single thing and I've got to leave in eight minutes, but I've just done my hair and my makeup. I'm actually dressed in my outfit. I can't remember where this was from, but I was so kindly sent it. The focus on this camera, I also need to bring this camera tonight and ask anyone, everyone there, if they know what's going on, like how to fix it. But anyway, as I was saying, I've done a side part in my hair tonight, which is so risky because all my extensions are like hanging on by a thread. I feel like it doesn't look- Oh my God, do I regret it now? that my head looks enormous. I feel like it's the black outfit throwing all the lighting off, but this is my outfit. I'm gonna wear some like sparkly shoes, but it's actually like a two piece. Better tuck that in. It so gorgeously shows off the stretch marks on my lower back, but that's fine. Most people have stretch marks. I think it's so gorgeous, but still kind of sexy and fun. As I said, I'll leave on screen where it's from because I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous because it's a brand I really care about and I need to put my networking boots on and talk to people. If you can even see me talking right now, I don't know if you can. This is something I struggle with so much. Why am I like glowing? What is going on? Have I got some sm skin smoothing? Oh my god, yeah, my skin is like... Okay, I'm really sorry, this is really annoying. I really struggle to like network at brand events because I always feel like I'm being really righteous by talking to the people who work there. Like, obviously everyone's there to network. So I'm like, why should I take up your time? You've got more important people to be talking to. But that's not gonna get me anywhere. So I need to get better at that. I'm gonna take a couple videos of myself <laughs> and then I'll be on my way. He hasn't noticed I'm here. Looking unforgettable, darling. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Lewis, I need you to 
help me as well. My camera's gone a bit funny. If you wanna die. No, it's still look, it comes up with the back borders again. Film just this morning. Are you still got my camera figured out on this phone because I feel like the quality is just all over the place. I had the most incredible evening. Killian events are always such like pinch me kind of events. I think because I don't know, but I love the brand so much and I really hope to work with them. So I got to properly meet the girls from the PR team last night. They've never actually done a dinner. I've been to a few of their events now, but even though they were like, yeah, we've never done a dinner before. And it was really nice because I was able to chat to people more and oh, but I've worked out with a spot the size of a small city on my head it just felt very intimate very cozy and i was just really excited to be there and obviously i got to walk away with two of their new perfumes which is just amazing because they're my, my favorite perfumes ever so i get to go and meet people to do with one of my favorite brands and then walk away with their products lucky girl i just want to interject here whilst editing whilst you're buying a perfume make sure you go for an oil-based perfume oil-based perfumes like last longer on your skin even i've got certain perfumes that i'll spray on my friends and they'll put their clothes through the wash and they can still smell the perfume on their clothes oil-based perfumes just linger longer linger longer does that even make sense? Something I love about Killian so much, you spray the perfume on in the morning and you'll still be getting compliments on it on the evening. Obviously this is not a sponsored Killian video, but I'm literally just saying invest in your perfumes, invest in your fragrance. I reach for Killian all the time because it's long lasting, gorgeous scents. I was even talking to one of my friends tonight. She just got gifted some Killian perfumes and we were like gawping over them because they're so great. And then I feel like an even luckier girl this morning because I'm actually on my way to go and have lunch with the PR from Selfridges. I've done work with Paco Rabanne before and I don't know if that was through Selfridges PR because listen, a lot of the time you work with a brand, like you're working through a PR agent that they, the brand will use. I'm pretty sure, okay, I'm pretty sure. Say like you'll promote a brand, it'll be like, shop this brand through at Look Fantastic or shop this brand through at Boots or something. I'm pretty sure that means it's like Boots PR. I don't know, I'm gonna actually have to ask that. That's always what I've assumed. But when I did my Paso Rabanne deal, it said shop Paso Rabanne through Selfridges. So I don't know if that means like I've worked with Selfridges PR before, but I've been invited to some of their events before and they're just great. Just squeeze the life out of that city. If you've watched my Influencer Tea video, you remember me saying how important it is that you is an influencer, online person, whatever you want to call yourself. Work with brands that you actually like. It's a huge focus, actually. We're only like continuing on with some brand partnerships this year, but making new ones and someone like Killian and Selfridges are just brands that I absolutely adore and I buy from myself. So it's just crazy exciting. It feels like very organic and very easy to have meetings with them and discuss potential work. I'm just, I feel very lucky, very excited. And I have to obviously say the biggest thank you to my management Insanity because they're just the best, so amazing. And I feel like they're the best pair of ears and eyes to like help me achieve and go after what I want. I don't know, it's really great. The girls that I'm with really align on everything that I want. I'm just checking if like, is that streaked off my tan? Um, oh my God. They know what I wanna do. Like they're so sort of aligned with my vision. They're my yes girls, do you know what I mean? When like, I feel like quite often like I used to be like a, no, I can't do that kind of girl. So thank you girls, if you're watching. Food was 
was amazing the girls were super lovely as expected like you can't really film anything because i don't know it's just like not the right environment to film but i'm now currently in the bank because i've got a big boring business payment to make and i've been putting it off which is really silly so i'm getting it all that done now i stopped off at the supermarket on the way home so that i have a few more bits in the fridge to cook with because i'm running low i got a cucumber courgette eat courgettes with everything any carb that you're having in your meal bulk it up with courgettes trust me oh yuck Okay, these strawberries I have got in the fridge are going moldy. That's so annoying. They never even properly ripen. They got fucking mold on them. I've got two bags of flat leaf parsley. I feel like I go through it like a hoover. Some raspberries. My favorite fruit at the moment, which I never used to be a raspberries girl, but I love eating an entire punnet whilst I watch Love Island in the evening. I also got two avocados, another punnet of raspberries, and some strawberries as well, very conveniently. I got two things of smoke. I forgot to get eggs. That's okay, I can zap those later. I got two things of smoked salmon. I got some mozzarella, which I never usually get, but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I fucking love mozzarella. I always crave it, but I don't really know like what to eat it with. That sounds really silly because you have it in a salad or something, but we'll do something with it. I don't know, maybe I'll just eat the whole fucking ball. Like, that's probably looking most likely. I got some salmon fillets and I also got some tuna steaks. I haven't cooked with tuna in a very long time. I got some of these, which are like mini sausages, like cocktail sausages, but obviously they're the Richmond vegan ones or the meat free yeah they're vegan mm. oh my god oh hell no I only drank half my kimmed last night so I put foil on the top and it stayed fizzy because I really feel like I need some energy. I still need to take Miss Bean out on another walk. And I also just need to get some cleaning done. Like the dishes on the side, I need to empty the dishwasher and I need to like swap around the washing machine into the drying machine, that kind of thing. I've also just got stuff on the sides, like from the brand events and stuff. I've also got a little package in the hallway, which I need to go and pick up and we can open that together. But first off, I need to walk and get rid of these moldy I actually think like I've got I'm not a phobia, but that was a gag. If I if I think about it too much, it will make me be sick. My eyes are watering. No idea how long we're even gonna last on this walk. She's not the biggest fan of the rain or even like a sprinkling of rain and it is drizzling right now but she definitely needs to get her energy out i actually have my friend fuzz it's like her birthday it's so funny it's her birthday like a couple days after mine oh god the rain is going in my eyes her birthday is a couple days after mine and she's doing like a pub evening tonight and i'm deciding whether i should go or not i just feel really terrible because obviously i've already been out for a lunch meeting which was only a couple of hours today but i was also out for dinner last night and i just don't like to leave ida for that long it's like dog mum girl if anyone else has got a dog i'm sure you feel what i feel so i'm still yet to decide if i don't end up going i'm just gonna end up doing loads of housework not that i've even really got any plans for the weekend which should be fun as well because like i feel like the weekend is my oyster i kind of love having plan free weekends these days i'm also crossing a road holding my phone which gives me the most terrible anxiety since it got stolen but yeah i'm just gonna try and get a 20 minute walk in with her now and then she should be tired to go to bed as a dog but i finally picked up the package that i've had outside my door all day what could it be Ooh, okay rimmel Ooh, got a sneaky peek of miss jama's face she is so hot she's so hot like she is so hot this is a mascara with a wonder bond bonding serum mascara oh so i assume it's like good for your eyelashes let's read the little thing it's really cool like <coughs> sorry the box sort of like look you see that it like pushes up when you open it how fun powered by biotin bonding complex the precision brush coats and lifts even the shortest of lashes from root to tip 35 percent more volume well i'll give this a try especially since i've got my lvl i feel like maybe i'll be able to use normal mascaras now i don't really wear mascara day to day and i also can't tell if i regret my lvl because 
I like it when I wake up first thing in the morning and like my eyelashes are already curled and I don't wear mascara now that I've got it. But also at the same time, I do feel like it does damage your lashes a bit. I actually feel like it's like fried the end off them a little bit. Like they're not as long as when they look when I used to curl them. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I just needed them curled differently, but they usually go higher than this. And obviously you can't really curl your lashes like once they're already LVL. So we try some of this now i do also just use waterproof mascara because i always think the formulas are better are you kidding me oh god of course i did that it's definitely done something Ooh. you know what? i like it it's a very wet formula i feel like i like mascaras to dry out a little bit before i use them but it definitely does something so if you're looking for a new mascara would recommend this one i'm sure it's not too expensive as well as it's rimmel if it's good enough for my it's good enough for me hey <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh my god this is a real time reaction of me realizing i've just fixed my camera I did it. I did it. Thank you to this man. That was so unbelievably simple. It is a Friday night tonight and I'm branching out and I'm going fucking outside. I was planning on going on a dinner, however, like I left it really last minute and I want to get kind of dressed up. So I want a dressy, nice, fancy, schmancy evening vibe and no places like that were going to be available. I've done a full everything bath. I had a little snacky snack before I go out. I had a tuna steak, which I don't actually think I like a tuna steak, but I think I'm cooking it wrong. If any of you guys have a good tuna steak recipe, let me know. I'm contemplating whether I want to order this ginormous big bubble tea matcha from my favorite like bubble tea drinks place. It's called Go Nuts. I don't know if they've got loads of them on delivery, but they're strawberry matcha. Get a huge one. Make sure you order it with no sugar because if you order it with sugar, it is it could give you brain freeze at how sweet it is. Like it hurts your jaw. It's so fucking delicious and it's like such a treat to me. So I now don't drink whilst I'm getting ready because there's absolutely no need. I'm such a lightweight these days. Like I'll be turning up to wherever I am with very limited vision. But I do enjoy like having a fun beverage at hand, kind of just for the ritual purposes of it. Getting ready. In fact, maybe we should get ready together tonight. I'm also thinking I want to upload like a Q&A video soon. Who knows? If I might film one. It might even be up before this vlog. If it is, make sure you go watch it if you want some life update. And if it isn't, then make sure you go over and follow me on my Instagram. I'll put it on screen here. But I'm thinking we can have a little chat. I don't really know what about. My life hasn't been too interesting. I'll have a think. Maybe... I was about to say maybe I'll ask for some questions. <sighs> this rice is still on the bottom of this plate. I'm just gonna rub it off and put it away anyway. I was gonna say I'll put like a Q and A thing up on my Instagram. Like if I'm filming a whole dedicated video, I probably won't be doing that. We'll have a ramble. We'll have some fun. Maybe I'll talk you through like makeup I'm liking. I know I've been saying about makeup and how I don't really enjoy it again. And two. Ignite my love back for it. I kind of turned back to the body makeup, like the old school makeup I've been wearing and lashes a lot recently. I went to a Shetlow Tinder event and I wore lashes there and I felt incredible. Like I really did. It brought me back to be 16 and like going out with my mum on a random Saturday to Cheltenham to go in all the shops with all the middle-aged people with a full glitter cutcrease, lashes, contour, Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour. And I just really enjoyed it. It was fun and I thought it looked good. It looked kind of cute with huge lashes on a bit. Anime girl. Just loading up the dishwasher because I'm a housewife. My boyfriend's currently on FaceTime with me and he asked me to teach him how to put a load of washing on. What I'll be doing. I'm gonna clip my hair up to get it out of my face. You know you're elevating into womanhood when you use these things instead of just some ginormous bun on the top of your head. I actually do my makeup <laughs> like 
on my windowsill of my dressing room and it's gotta change because when you walk past you can just see all the mess and all the chaos and also anyone walking along the street can see down on me which I, to be honest I don't really care but I always feel like I'm gonna get a complaint for it that's some chronic people pleasing us in me I also put on a little bit of tan this is literally like my biggest secret ever and every time I wear it I always get questions on it and like compliments from friends as well this stuff here like it's pretty empty as you can hear. Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Lotion. It's tinted as well. So say even if like you've got a little bit of leg stubble or I don't know, like you shaved your legs and it looks like a fucking roast chicken or something. It will cover all of that. Like it covers bruises as well. It makes you airbrushed, but it also adds like a really good amount of color. And I'm pretty sure it stains. It says it stains your skin as well. But to be honest, I haven't really found that. I have found that it kind of just washes off. I'll also sometimes put it on my face because it's got that little bit of coverage in it so it just like airbrushes your skin it's honestly look not an ad you guys would know if it was an ad but i just swear by this stuff i religiously repurchase it like when i walk past the boots i'm getting my essential no matter how many of them i've got in the cupboards i will always pick up another one i've whacked on a little bit of estee lauder double wear but i'm also going to put on some of the l'oreal tinted serum to mix in with it i have got oily skin but this dries the living daylights out of my face like it will literally start to crust off my face i guess if you go in with a really heavy duty moisturizer it would work but i actually don't like to use too much skincare under my makeup because i find like it reacts with the makeup either instantly or through the night i've also got fucking spot you can't even see but it's so ginormous it's consuming the entirety of my chin however i actually am quite enjoying it because it's kind of giving a little bit of a chin filler illusion from the right angles like it's projecting my chin out a little bit further i don't know what's gotten into me this week honestly i feel like this is the week of glam my mom used to call me kim kardashian in a dressing gown growing up because there's no in between i have no casual outfits attire in my wardrobe it's either diamante rip off mac and mac heels and some floor length gown or joggers leggings leggings joggers hoodie pajamas which once again as well these pajamas i always get questions on they're like the most gorgeous pajamas ever and they are from h&m h&m zara home all those places they do the best gym jam i would say if not even better than white company ones obviously they're a fraction of the price and they don't shrink as easily as the white company ones do i mean that is definitely my fault i can shrink everything and then i have some huge meltdowns i think i've like gained four dress sizes overnight i've ordered two of the new joe and the juice egg cardo sandwiches which i feel like they must have exclusively launched those in some stores because i had one ages ago and then they kind of went missing but oh uh, that's one thing if you instant tan like you've got to check you've got it all down your neck oh my god they're so bloody delicious i'm obsessed i mean i guess i'll show you when they come and i got two because i'm not going out for a big dinner and drinking before a night out is cool not <laughs> what eating before a night out is cool what is not cool is like vomiting all down yourself in a bar because you think not eating is going to make your tummy look flat it doesn't you'll actually bloat like fucking crazy if the first thing to enter your stomach is alcohol trust me that's my weekend wisdom for you i always bring um concealer like here on my cheek i think it gives such like a can you see it just adds to the shadow of it i'm also gonna bring some under my eyes which i don't know if i'll regret you guys know about how i feel about concealer under the eyes i feel like it does it brightens up the space but it accentuates like the hollowness you know what i mean i don't know if it's appropriate to bring up like will this get my video flagged but has anyone seen the drake video i did i didn't like it i did not like it i don't mm. oh oh no i've got my outfit for tonight like drying on the radiator underneath me and it's so risky because i drop fucking shit like i've got concealer all over my fingers i'm gonna use some hula i'm hoping i'm not like too tan for this i mean i'm, I'm not like overly tan but usually i use the estee lauder bronze goddess if i've got like a little bit of a tan on me but that's all the way upstairs talking of my apartment as well i know this is something that like i want to bring up in the q a and stuff but whether it's gone up before or after we're going to talk about it again i am just really struggling 
with this flat at the moment and I just it's hard because I want to focus and like center all my content around it. But I'm not gonna lie to you girls, I've been rinsed. I'm just so scared of losing all my money. Like I've obviously just bought a house and I've just done my tax bill and all this stuff. And one thing to know about me is like, I like the money in my bank. I like to see it there. Obviously I know a lot of people do, but even when I've been earning the most money I ever had, I wouldn't go out and like splash it on loads of holidays. Like I bought nice bags and shoes and things, but I always lived within my means. I think I lived like less than my means because I knew the importance of having money there. Contrary to a lot of people's opinions, I have honestly like, I've never have any, had anything, sorry, given to me like on a silver platter. I think people think, it just sounds so, stupid and annoying and maybe even like i'm picking myself up but people think because of my accent which i've got a very normal british accent i always get like tory accent like all these comments and stuff people think that i've just got these unlimited funds from my family and that is most certainly not the fucking case i never went to uni so like i never had any support that way like obviously i was able to be on my own two feet financially from quite a young age like age 17 was when my youtube took off and i started earning money which is honestly the biggest blessing it sounds really weird like i don't want people to take this the wrong way but when i was really really little i was obsessed with having my own money like i used to accumulate everything for my bedroom make my dad go take me to car boot sales and then i started up like a little cafe business <laughs> within my own home where i go to tesco's and spend all the money i'd made and charge my parents like a 10p profit for a chocolate mousse can't say i wasn't savvy with it little things like that like i always wanted my own money i mean i'm not unique in that sense i feel like everyone does so at the same time i feel like i really value the worth of money not in the sense of like i don't know money just it can bring you freedom and it got me this house like it can set you up for the rest of your life like it to me it was, it was always security and comfortability and also my independence because i've been so lucky to be so independent through my life like that's something i can't even imagine losing and money just gives you a little bit of that to be honest i don't have the money that i once had in my bank account and i want it back again i want it back there i want the security i want to know that if i go through a dry patch with work that my mortgage will be okay and i can take care of the dog i can take care of myself like things like that which i can do like i'm not going bankrupt don't like no one worry i'm not selling the flat or anything but i just want it there again and i want to be sensible and to be honest it's not entirely sensible right now to be furnishing my entire flat going room by room as i've mentioned before i'm a girl with expensive taste but also with that expensive taste like i feel like by buying expensive things for this house and doing it out properly and taking my time and like finding the right people to do it in the long run it will be worth more because when i do go to sell the house anything and everything that was put into it like even the wall colors and the wallpapers it will be beautiful Beautiful. it'll be so perfect and even those wallpapers could be like a selling point of the house because they're really special what i do with my money is completely my own business but i also do feel the need to like justify why because like anything i'm gonna get comments i'm gonna get backlash i'm gonna get people telling me you don't need to spend that much on this you don't need to do that you don't i don't need to do anything period i don't need to do anything but i do want to do things and i want to do things my way and that is fine just because you would do it differently or you would diy up the whole house or you feel like you could do it all yourself that's just not something i want to do i'd rather wait have someone in to do it be absolutely obsessed in love with it rather than like refurbing and redecorating every couple years because everything's peeling off the walls or i don't think this is in trend anymore it's completely my decision and it's also been my decision to put that on a back burner i live in the loveliest house i'm the luckiest girl everything is already beautiful in here like there's nothing that really needs doing like nothing's falling down nothing's super dated it's all just personal preference and taste obviously one thing like that really does need some help is the garden and that will be getting done but in terms of these big plans i had to do these huge great big room makeovers and everything it's just not the reality right now so yeah i'm just letting you know in case anyone was thinking like why have you stopped that because i know i've been showing these like lavish living room plans but a little bit of reality that's not in my budget right now i'm happy i'm healthy my family are happy and healthy that is all that has ever mattered and will ever matter in my life I just want to feel confident in my bank account and it's not just the first tax year that's gonna that's it do me up the bum but that's like not the nicest way to put it this isn't gonna be the first tax year to be a bit of a blow because obviously I had to 
transfer a lot of money around to get the deposit for this house and the stamp duty and everything and next year next year is going to be a big one but honestly after next year's tax return i feel like i'll be floating again and like everything i earn will be mine again whereas right now it feels like everything i earn is going into a pot to save up for my bills and my expenses and sort of getting myself back on my feet oh my god i feel like i just rambled for england and i also didn't do anything to my makeup i literally put my foundation on my delivery is also about to arrive so i feel like i'm gonna cut this off here and i'll come back with the egg card i will do a review and then i'll probably finish doing my makeup sorry i know i said we were gonna get ready together but i honestly don't think i'll be doing anything revolutionary i'll also give you like a rundown of the products and everything that i used afterwards if you want to know but i do have an amazing hair hack to show you how i do like big bouncy hair so quickly like i'll even do it in the day time and me styling my hair in the daytime is unheard of but it's so quick so easy and it looks good so yeah catch you then this is the bad boy she comes in a gorgeous coquette little pouch oh i also did my finished my makeup and i used that mascara that i put on the other day this is what she looks like she looks kind of scary especially under the really harsh lighting but it's got like egg tomato avocado mmm add extra salt as well mm. i'm watching the american horror story with kim kardashian in it let me know if any of you have seen it i didn't realize it was like split up into two parts i don't know why you do that i've been loving it and also i didn't think that i'd be able to sorry it, i'm not talking like that that's fucking foul i didn't think i'd be able to like see her as a different character but i think the character that she plays is like so well cast because it's kind of like her anyway that it works amazingly so proud of you, Kimmy. First things first. Oh, this is also like a moment for the hair. Um, this girl, Maddie Demeda, I've met her a few times. She's an absolute angel. Oh, God. This here. I think you see her TikTok. Just like these little vlogs on TikTok of like her being a model during fashion week and i just find them really interesting i love watching them and i love having them like play through i love it when i come across like a longer vlog on tiktok because i can just leave it playing whilst i'm on the toilet Ooh. time to show you this hair that i've been hyping up the quickest easiest big curly blow dry i'm gonna just throw the word blow dry in there because everyone loves blow dry and a hair title my camera is so unsteady because i've got a light on top of it and you can also see all the filth in my dressing room but it's a cold dressing room okay it's a friday night if your room dressing room wardrobe wherever you get ready doesn't look like this you're not doing it right first things first gather all my hair right onto the top of my head and i'll attach it with hairband i'm just doing a scrunchie with this one then take your curler i love the molly may beauty works one because it's like extra long so you can get all your hair around it i'm turning it up to 210 which is quite hot i shouldn't be doing that especially as i'm on a whole hair growth journey but to be honest with you majority of the hair left over in this ponytail is extensions so i don't really care about damaging those where's a hairbrush whilst i wait for that to heat up i'm gonna take a section of hair from the ponytail give it a good brush i also did a fresh wash on my hair today i use the l'oreal professional bonding the ones in the gray bottles i did a deal with them and they're honestly so incredible i also find if i blow dry my hair with them they actually give my hair a bit of texture which i feel like it's quite rare find in really hydrating like restorative shampoos i find they can like weigh your hair down a lot because your hair's hydrated basically <laughs> how it should be but they're really great and then i use the necessaire conditioner i do also have the l'oreal peptide conditioner but it was like on the other side of the bathroom and i was already in the bath and i also use the l'oreal like rinse off serum and mix that in with conditioners i feel like it just helps conditioners like penetrate your hair deeper and using conditioner is something i just would neglect all the time i feel like because i always get out of the shower or bath and use a serum on my hair i was like oh it's really not that deep for me to use conditioner but it really is especially if you're trying to grow your hair the ends of your hair need fixing and they need protection as well i think the main thing is it like offers protection against heat doesn't it anyway i've laid that piece of hair like kind of flat to the curling iron and i'm gonna hold it on for ah Burn. okay ow i'm gonna hold it on for about 10 seconds hold it in place 
she's kind of cute and then let it go like that and you basically just do that over the entire ponytail like changing the direction of the curls obviously i did that curl away from my face i might do the next one towards my face it doesn't really matter you cannot make up what has happened i rested my curling tongs on this rug here and it's like a cheap fucking rug and it's melted onto my curling tongs. i'm very very pleased to an air it came off with a little bit of cleaning product and a cough thank god imagine i put that back on my hair and didn't realize i fucking garb it in my hair for like the rest of my life big reveal obviously i need to style my bangs out a little bit but you see what I mean in that like all the curls are kind of going in different directions. Once I've got my bangs down, it does the job. Yay! I'm ready. Let's get this fucking light on. Oh, it's like some big countdown waiting for it to focus. I am wearing the same set that I wore to the Killian event because I feel a million dollars in it. And honestly, I feel like a huge part of the reason I wanted to go out tonight is because I want to wear it again. I wanted to feel like I did that night. You guys went crazy for those pictures. If you don't know what the pictures I'm talking about are, go over to my Instagram. Give it a like whilst you're there. I got some hot revenge pics. I don't know what the revenge is but they're revenge picks you know what i mean like i felt good in those i've told you guys before but like i struggle to feel nice <laughs> these days and i felt really nice that night and i don't know it was just like great getting pictures back and not wanting to claw my face off and honestly nothing has changed like nothing drastic has changed at all apart from my attitude towards myself so take what you will from that confidence is an attitude it is a mindset Ida is outside weeing and I think she's finished because she's barking to come inside. God knows where the night will take us. And I've got friends all over London tonight, so it really is my oyster wherever I end up. I'm recording this voiceover in between fashion shows right now and also trying to simultaneously play catch with Ida so she gets some beans out of the system. But we, well, oh God, why am I getting flustered? Me and my boyfriend had a really nice night out. We went for a couple of drinks, just us, and then we met up with some friends, like kind of around where I live afterwards and it was really fun it was really nice there's not really much I could show you yeah then we went to Shoreditch house and that was me taking a picture to say I'm over here come meet me that's it gotta go love ya uh, the time is what time is it 10 30. oh my god it's 10 30 I haven't picked up my camera all day today because I've been a massive loser, but I'm in a car. And I feel like it's quite rare you're in a car in London. And the one thing to do, most importantly, if you do have a car at hand, is a drive through tour, especially when you're as morbidly hungover as I am right now. Are you hungover? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got Beanie because she's gonna go for a sleepover. Mm -hmm and our daddies tonight so far all we're finding is mcdonald's but like we've got like tim hortons never had a tim hortons mm. wendy's never had a wendy's obviously what i can order from a drive through is quite limited i feel like you guys all know this by now but i'm pescatarian i don't eat meat maybe today's the day i break that because i want to do the thing where you order what the person in front of you orders we've all seen that i've never done that never got to do that okay the car in front got a freaking buffet. We got like two large filet fish meals, a cheeseburger, 20 nuggets, a large chicken select meal. It was a small car. They've been smoking, they've been smoking the doobies. Hi, can I take order? Hi, right, could we get, um, could I get five select meal, please? Medium or large? Uh, medium. Uh, is you have sweet chili sauce, and then I'll have a diet coke, please. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like? Medium fillet of fish meal. A medium fillet of fish meal. Extra cheese on the fillet of fish. Extra cheese on the fillet of fish, please. Extra cheese, yeah. And what? Um, and uh, what coke drink? Zero. And a coke zero. Coke zero. And then mozzarella yeah. dippers. And then mozzarella dippers. Anything else? And so portion, please. Portion. And then sour cream and chive dip. And the sour cream and chive dip, please. That's everything. Okay, Thank you. I was contemplating it to perhaps. Like what? I don't know. Burger as well. Did you get a Big Mac? Huh? Did you get a Big Mac? I uh, know. 
think probably I've never had a Big Mac. Oh, this is heinous. Hi. 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 Ida. <laughs> Ida. <laughs> Shush. Hey, you've got to be people friendly. <laughs> you can't. Oh. Ida, you can't do that. You're the nice lady. <laughs> shush, 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 shush. Anyone watching this with a dark accent, definitely it's going to be We're getting it from there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Ida. Ida. There was no need for that, baby. Got a face in the other way. <laughs> I should have thought, I should have known. I thought anyone watching this with a dachshund can relate to this. <laughs> oh, you're changing the moods. We should oh, watch fine. In Between Us movie tonight. Yeah, dance mm -hmm. is that 100%. Which we, one? First one. I think I've watched, I don't know if, I don't remember the second one as well, so I'd rather watch the second one because I remember the first one really well. Right. <laughs> There's no one out here. There's no one out here. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was quick. Oh, it's fast food for a reason, eh? I'm gonna have to put you down and <laughs> look at her head. The camera. Mm. Oh, honestly, this brings me back. I used to film like drive-through videos, like Q&A, drive with me. I don't even have a car to my name anymore. That silver Ford Fiesta is no longer in my possession. And I miss it. It brings back like some crazy YouTube. All right, why are you gonna pass me mine? Starving. You eating those out of my, oh, no, they're hot as well. McDonald's on delivery is just not. Right, it's really no point. They're putting no salt in these. Is it not? No. A McDonald's drive-thru and then eating it in a car park in London doesn't have quite the same comfort appeal. Oh, my <laughs> mm. head just popped up in the corner of the diary. Can you hold that for a second? Yeah. And I also feel like it's probably the worst way to draw attention to yourself is with a ginormous Amazon selfie light lighting up your face in a... Where are we even? Where are we right now? Islington? It's not an Islington. In an Islington McDonald's. Not my dip. That's no sweet chili. <gasps> and I'll give you it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh. What's your muckers... muckers? What's your macas dip? Of choice. How can I have? Always. I need to get a thumbnail with this. Slug Mario Boy. Chicken Select, a chicken nugget, and a French fry. Mmm. <laughs> we got Mario chicken nugget. Half day. You seem like a select kind of guy. Snogger select. Snogger select. Not for a smell of chips. You devoid fries? Yeah. Snog my avoid. AFC. McDonald's and Burger King. Mm. Wait, can you turn the music off? I'll get copyrighted. I'm avoiding Burger King. <gasps> yeah. No, Burger King is a oh, can we find a Burger King drive through? One that I just don't go for. No, Burger King is so much better than Macca's. Mm. It really is. Better than McDonald's? Yeah. You're gonna get a Burger King and you're gonna see the difference. Like, it puts McDonald's burgers to shame. Like, they're so juicy and good. McDonald's burgers are dry. Yeah, no, but I feel like as a whole, no. McDonald's got more. No. Burger King have vegan chicken nuggets. They've got the best cheese bites, those chili cheese bites. Oh my God, they get me going. Why does McDonald's do mayonnaise? Why do they do mayo? They'll put mayo in the sandwiches, but you can't order sauce. Not very strange. Neither. Not very strange. I also just want to make a disclaimer that she is fine. 
she's just fussy and she wants french fries also that is fucked three that's what you get three how much you get in the other one like 20. i don't know Stop it. like 20. no 10. your share box but bruv i don't know who they think i'm sharing with give me a stock my vlog fish mm -hmm, okay you must have those sticks Mm -hmm. Mozzarella sticks or their cheese bites in general? So like, change. Um, more vegan burger. The vegan burger? Yeah. We had it. Yeah. It's good to be fair. Yeah, I heard it's very good. Mm, it's not very good, it's alright. Bit nothing eh? I would marry the cheese bites. My favourite ones are the chili cheese ones that they do. Here she is in all her controversial glory. Look at that beautiful glaze bun. I hope my skin looks like that one day. Smooth and radiant. Look at that. <coughs> Disgusting. <laughs> you know as well, you have to take the bun and scrape some of that janky ass tartar sauce off because they always put so much on. Mm. It's literally a fish finger sandwich. Why do people get so upset about that? Thank you for coming along. i see you for the next one. Morning. I look so rough, but I'm at a styling appointment with a PR company, stylist company called Idea PR. I found one outfit that I love. I've honestly tried on so many, um, but I'm very picky, especially as I could potentially be getting like a lot of pictures of myself in these outfits. Like it's really important that I feel really good. So I'm not gonna take their clothes for the sake of it. Do you know what I mean? If I don't wear it. I also like not saying this in a bad way. I feel like I do have like a little bit of an awkward body. Like I've got such a short torso and obviously I am very short as it is. I struggle to find things I like and I'm definitely very fussy about the way my silhouette appears in clothes. I've got quite like a small waist, but then big hips and no bum, like no bum, but still quite wide hips. Doesn't really make sense. I'm not bashing myself at all. Like it's just the way it is, but yeah, I am so obsessed with this outfit that I tried on. I'll put it on screen here for you to see. You can completely see my bum cheeks, but I'm thinking I might actually wear white tights with it and I've got the perfect like pointed toe shoes that would look so good. I'm on to my last outfit now, so let's hope I like this. The girls here are so lovely and one of them actually like helped me pick out one last thing to try. I've tried on so many different silhouettes. I feel like I've definitely done my rounds of the rails. It's such a sunny day today as well. Like. I can't wait to get home and give Bean a walk. Is there a zip on this? I'm gonna have to put this one over my hand. Oh, oh I think they're in. <laughs> Just about. I don't know if it's supposed to fit like this because I don't know if it's supposed to look like this. Like, if you can see the, um, <laughs> my boob. <laughs> It's literally oozing out and it's so clear where the line is. Like, I also, I want to represent the designer well. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be wearing their clothes and then be like, what the fuck? Why did you put her in that? Because I can literally see her left areola. But we're going to try layering this on top of it. And even if I like this, I am so sure that I'll have so many pieces at home that I could put under this. Maybe even just like a black bodysuit and black tights. Oh, and then there's actually a ton of accessories here that I could jazz it up with. I have to kind of psych myself, not to be negative, but I have to kind of psych myself up for stuff like this. Like, I'll speak so badly to myself. And as I keep saying, something I'm not doing this year because it's not fun for me or other people around me. So I really do have to be like my own biggest supporter. This doesn't fit. Like my arms are too big for the, these bits. And that's okay, that's not my problem. If I were to wear this though, look at this. Wow, how cool is that? And then look at this one. I don't know if this is like really unprofessional. What else am I supposed to do? I love this. I want this. What can I wear with this? 
I'm also, I'm so confused. Like, there's no way anyone's arm is gonna fit in that. Might just be in Dulu though. I don't know. I want this though. I want to wear this with something. What can I wear this with in my wardrobe? Do I have any cute little white dresses? Hmm. Oh, I'm being silly. I'm being silly. Leave it behind. I'll catch up with you when I'm home. And I've stolen it. Oh, you guys, I've been so rubbish. I've literally hardly <laughs> vlogged anything and I feel like I haven't done any homey style videos. I've literally got Love Island playing here in the background. So if you can hear that, but vlogging can't get in the way of me watching Love Island. Like it's kind of a very important part of my routine. I'm not gonna get to sleep unless I watch it. Not even that I have been sleeping recently. Like my sleep is all over the place. I got four hours of sleep last night, which is so bad. I'm just in a bad spell of it at the moment. It's literally it's so annoying. This has been going on for like a week or two. But anyway, enough complaining. I need to read my books tonight. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, firstly, maybe we could do a little pamper tonight. I mean, I've already like taken off any makeup that I've had on, as you can see. That's a whole different situation. And also another reason that I think I'm just, I always say it, on some huge PCOS flare up. I think my insulin levels, I think it affects my insulin levels. I was watching Miss Remy Ashton's vlog and she was talking about how going on this medication helped her sleep. It was something to do with like her insulin levels and her energy levels. Like I could sleep for England. I slept for 17 hours the other night. That's not normal. Along with my skin, like my skin is just so sensitive at the moment. Like any products I put on it really hurt. I've been drowning it in a lot of Aquaphor because it feels like it's quite literally falling off my face. I am however gonna make myself a really good, really healthy dinner tonight. I'm currently <coughs> doing my special courgette thing. I like slice. Let's see if you can see this. I'll slice my courgette so it's like this and then I can just chop it down here and it cubes it up, it's great. You might also see a HelloFresh box in the background. I have these lovely, lovely girls turn up to my door to sign me up to HelloFresh and the crux of it all is like, HelloFresh is a great brand but they tried to work with me in the past but I wasn't a cooker in the past. I mean, who knows? What I'd do with that partnership now if I got it? I'd probably say yes because I do love my cooking. Like I know it's really great. I know a lot of my friends in uni used it. That usually means Ida's hungry. She's pushing around her bowls like that. But I got sucked into peer pressure and I ordered it and I kind of forgot about it and I've consequently had three meals consisting of all meat turn out to my door. I don't eat meat and no one is coming around to my house to eat this meat anytime soon so I don't really know what to do with it. If that isn't the most like people pleasing story ever. I love um, Millie G Fit. Like I kind of know her. I don't know if I can call her my friend because I've only met her in person once but I would like to call her my friend. In fact we've been talking about our little Saucy's meeting up and going for a walk. She's got a gorgeous little sausage dog called Nora. And I need to message her about that, actually. I want to see the shittiest person with making plans. If you've ever made plans with me or messaged me and I haven't responded, do not take it personally. I'm just like that with everyone. Anyway, I was getting so sidetracked, but she always, like, does these Instagram stories about her chronic people-pleasing and... Because that is me. My styling appointment went really well today. I got a really gorgeous outfit. I've also just secured another show that I've been so desperate to go to. I actually had to miss it last year because Ida got a little bit poorly through the night and she was still a pup and I just didn't want to leave her. Oh my god, no, that would have been that wasn't last year, that was the year before. It's time goes so fast. I'm excited for this year's fashion week. I feel like I've got some really fun ones coming up and I'm also being dressed for some of them which is so fun like by the brand. I want to get photographed there. I feel like that's the way to do it. Like that's the way to get in to this whole world is like get photographed, have the photographers recognize you but if you think for even a second that I would go up and ask someone to photograph me you've got a big storm coming because no way. Once again in the people pleasing I already don't feel like I should be there so how no am I asking for someone to take my picture? Ooh, I'd rather die. I'm also seeing if I can get my boyfriend to come with me to one of the shows. He loves it. Well, he told me he loves it. And he's, I don't know who 
does it? He's like, oh, I went to this fashion week, I went to this fashion week. With who? How did you get in? How did you get in? And I've literally got someone like ramming the invite down my throat. I do not have the balls for this stuff. But I mean, yeah, once again, I'm sorry. I know you guys love like the homey style stuff. So I'm just going to try and get a little bit of that in to round up, finish off this video. I know it's been so here, there and everywhere. But honestly, I've been very here there and everywhere this week i feel like i've been really busy after a good few weeks of not being busy like not busy with like hard things like everything's been very enjoyable but even when i went on my night out the other night like i, mean, I can't film anywhere like i could not film anywhere i was in because i'm not allowed to so what am i supposed to do you know what i mean I'll, I'll post it on my story you can't stop me doing that which is why you should definitely follow me on instagram anyway i'm going to show you little bits of my cooking tonight all right i've literally got to come back to interject molly and callum making breakfast together for their separate dates it's my roman empire please fight for her callum you love her win her back you can do it and coming back in again i think right they are either or they either should get all the dumped islanders and put them into the casseramores because like how are they going to do Casa more this season but then it said before this episode aired that the final is next week are you kidding like are you can what I haven't seen any bedroom fumbling as my mum says oh i want a proposal at the end of this one i'm not settling for less it's been a fucking insane series I need it to end with a bag. I've got loads of courgette and salmon all ready to go in the oven. I've just like dressed, seasoned, sorry, the courgette and salmon with some dill, garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, lemon juice, and za'atar. Made this kind of like relish thing now with half an avocado. Some of the oil these sun dried tomatoes came in. I also cut up the sun dried tomatoes. Cucumber, flat leaf parsley, and literally just salt and pepper. I want it quite basic. Oh my gosh, so delicious. I've also got a couple of eggs on the boil. I feel like I've got some pepper on my nose. Ugh. You know me, love a boiled egg. Dinner is made. It's looking a little bit messy, a little bit scary, but it's just been announced that Molly and Tom raise each other's heart rate the least. And Molly and Helen raise each other's heart rates because they're meant to be together. Two full days of editing. I've literally pulled one full all-nighter and then one full day of editing for this video. I honestly can't tell you guys how much it means to have like all the lovely feedback on these vlogs and especially when you comment that you've made it till the end. I feel like we started a fun little exclusive club that Ida now apparently wants to be in. I know I say it every single time but it, <laughs> it honestly really does mean so much like when you comment that you've made it to the end or even you just enjoyed the video or you give it a thumbs up especially with social medias like tiktok instagram where it's also quick and instant it means so much to me that you guys still engage with my youtube videos and you enjoy them because it is still my favorite social media platform and i feel like even every time i meet you guys like you know me on a deeper level because you really watch my life like all these videos are just like my internal monologue and I just can't believe that people watch them and enjoy them. Anyway, I love you all so much. I hope you go on to have the loveliest, happiest week. Hey, B, don't you wish that too? We love you so much and we'll see you very soon. Love you. Bye.